it's just an honor to be able to represent our industry. Uh, you know, so often our industry, I think, gets overlooked in, in the public eye, unless there's some, you know, contentious issue. But uh, I, I've enjoyed uh, my career in forestry, and one of the reasons I ran was to represent our industry because I think we needed a voice in, in the legislature to help bring these issues to light and help promote our industry. You have to take a little broader perspective sometimes when you're in leadership. You know, you, you may be focused on, on one particular issue, but when you're in your leadership, you have to take into account the whole body and what's best for the whole body. Uh, that hasn't really been a conflict as far as our business because we, we have a strong support for our forest industry, especially with the uh, formation of our, our forestry caucus now to help provide you know, more support for legislative issues. Yeah, I want to stay connected, obviously, especially to the forest industry and in our community, but the main reason I, I decided not to run anymore, I needed more flexibility. I want to do more international mission work, and that requires three or four you know, trips a year, and, uh, or, or maybe even more. And with this schedule, it's just hard to commit to, to things like that. And it's been 10 years, I've enjoyed it, and uh, it's, it's good to leave while you still enjoy it. Uh, but I'm gonna miss the people, mostly. Uh, we've, we've developed a lot of good friendships here, long-term friendships, and, and uh, but it, it's, you know, you reach a time, you just know when it's time to, to move on. I guess I'm most proud that we're on the front line with our good partners and we're telling everyone we can find to listen that forests are a great place, that, that healthy, far, healthy markets equal healthy forests and healthy forests equal healthy people. And I've, I've now taken up the banner, uh, trees are the answer. What's your question? So we like to talk and, and tell our story. We also like to run dozers and fly airplanes and talk to landowners, check seedlings, produce seedlings, watch out for BMPs, all those things most people now know that we do. And, and we like to brag about it just a little bit to be part of the forestry community in Arkansas. I was called to the job, literally, and because of my grandfather's involvement and my, you know, I served on the Forestry Commission myself uh, in the 90s and enjoyed it quite a bit and it, it did seem like something that I should do. But I didn't think about that much, until much, you know, 10 minutes before I applied for the job. <laughs> plan for Joe Fox is to be a granddaddy, full-time granddaddy here pretty soon. So. Uh, next year. In any case, uh, what I hope for now, I've been mentored by some fabulous, fabulous men, sawmillers, foresters, and others. Ducci Darlin, uh, John Elrod, James Bibbler. I can go on and on. I'll leave somebody out. Uh, those guys helped me tremendously, especially after my father passed away which was 1982. And because of that, I'd like to be a mentor for others now. That's what I try to be, whether they ask me to or not.